Uh, this video is going to talk about uh, how we deal with uh, random passes in Guerrilla. One Guerrilla project can contain several random passes, and each random pass is a uh, is a render invocation. Uh, random passes can contain several uh, layers. One layer is, is is a set of objects to be rendered uh, on the same image, and each layer can contain. Um, technical passes, uh, images basically, uh, which we call AVs, um, and eventually one render pass will be able to render several set of objects with uh, different lighting conditions uh, and, uh, and different shading parts. So this uh, project is composed of three assets here, we have uh, the character, we have the, the ground, and we have the, the support of the, the character. So these uh, three assets are now uh, flowing through the graph, and uh, this is the default random graph for Guerrilla. And these assets will acquire attributes through the graph, like uh, assignment to lights and assignment to layers. So we want to render this character on a on a separate uh, separate layer. So the first first thing that we do is uh, rename the layer uh, as character and then uh, we're going to replace uh, the, sim the, the layer, default layer by uh, character. So if we delete this node we can see that the, the objects are no longer assigned uh, to a layer so it shouldn't render anything which, uh, which is right. So now we're going to drag and drop our character directly in the render graph then we drag and drop the character layer in the graph, link them, and override uh, the, main, uh, the main flow. So normally the, the character should be rendered in the, in the, uh, in the layer uh, character. So we want to do uh, the same thing for, uh, for the set. So we're going to duplicate this layer and rename it as a uh, set for for the set and uh, like just like we did before we're gonna uh, connect uh, the set that is the the cyclo and the uh, and uh, the support uh, to the to the to, to the set layer and override the main flow uh, with this uh, this assignment so when we render now uh, we can still see uh, our main character rendering on the character layer and now we have another set uh, layer which renders with with the, 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 the cyclo and the set so now we want to render uh, our character uh, as an older out uh, mat over uh, the set. That is, we want uh, the character to cut a hole through the through the set in, uh, in the layer of the set. So we take this uh, this node again, the, the the character node. Then we use the set um, layer again. We link it so it's visible. So the character is visible uh, in the layer. But we also connect the character directly in the mat input of the of the set so that uh, the character is rendered as mat in the in the set so when we render now we can see that the character is cutting a hole through uh, the image of the of the, the set and this can be uh, quite useful for our composite so it is possible to uh, to deactivate or activate some uh, some layers individually, yeah. so you can uh, check and check uh, render pass layers or technical passes individually. So, for instance, I can uh, deactivate the character pass, and the character is no longer rendered, but the set is still rendered. Uh, you can also uh, use the solo button. Uh, to to render only some uh, layers or technical uh, passes, so for instance the character here is soloed, so it only renders the 
the, the, the character and the set is no longer rendered. This is quite useful uh, when you want to work and render on the farm with uh, multiple layers. Notice that uh, you can you can view uh, uh, AOVs uh, or layers directly by drag and dropping them uh, from the render passes to the render view. 